All right, now, another piece of horrible fucking advice that I've literally heard guys say on these YouTube streams, right? Horrible advice. They, they, they tell you guys is to ignore shit tests or when a woman violates you, you ignore it. So you don't want, and the theory is, the reasoning is you don't want a woman to see that she's phased you. So, and a lot of the times, Guys use the example, well, what if your girl is out with you and she floats with the waiter or she flirts with somebody else, right? Their rationale is, oh, well, this is to test to see, you know, how you respond or if, you know, to test your masculinity or whatever. So you just laugh it off and blow it off. That is the stupidest shit I ever heard in my fucking life. Never, ever, ever let a woman violate you or test you and you just laugh it off, ever. The thing about women, that's how you know a lot of these guys are just don't know what the f they talking about. There's a lot of money to be made in the dating world. Right? In dating, selling pussy or selling you know, romance to women, this is a billion dollar industry. So you have to understand a lot of guys see that and they come, they flock to it. You understand what I'm saying? But you never, let a woman test you or violate you or anything, and you just let it go. What happens is, the thing about women is, human beings, period, its behavior get worse. It never stays stagnant. So if a person does something to you and you don't do nothing about it, it's just gonna get worse. When the bully, the bully started by poking the kid in the back of the head, and the kid didn't do nothing, so now he mushed him in the back of the head. And the kid didn't do nothing, so now he spit a spitball at him. Now he pushed him down. Next thing you know, he catching him in the bathroom, punching him in the nose. Next thing you know, he's taking the lunch money. This is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. This is human nature. Women, if you don't check them, if you don't get that shit, nip that shit in the bud, it's going to get worse. Y'all think everything is a shit test. Y'all think women just be testing you just to see how masculine. Yeah, women women test you because they you know for certain reasons but everything ain't a shit test and for this particular example that a lot of guys give on this fucking these youtube streets if your girl is flirting with anybody or choosing up on anybody in front of you she's violating you bro she don't respect you you better check you better check that you damn that need to end the relationship but you don't let nobody violate you like that don't let nobody violate you like that you better stand up for your fucking self because if she see See, y'all be worried about, oh, well, if she see that she can get a rise out of me, she gonna think I'm a bitch. No, she gonna think you a bitch if you, if you let her punk you. You let her punk you. If, if, if she know that she's violating you and you don't do nothing about it, she gonna think you a bitch then. Not because you got, you, 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 you felt the way or, you know, you got, you got it, you reacted to her violating you. She know you ain't no bitch because you do that. And I could be a, Call me a bitch all you want to. You ain't gonna violate me like that. I don't care. Call me a bitch all you want to. Okay, I'm a bitch because I ain't let you flirt with somebody in my face. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all will go check the dude. Hey, that's my girl. That ain't you. That's tis, That's on her. You see what I'm saying? But that's ignoring women when they when they violate you. Or ignoring women when they test you is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Now, you don't have to go off the deep end and curse a bitch out, but you know, if it's a petty violation, you check them, right? If it's something major, you put them on the bench. If I was at a date and I see a woman flirting with, I see a woman flirting with somebody else, the date is over, I'm done. The date is over. It's my, if it's my girl, she going on ice. If I don't break up with her, they, whatever, they, I'm getting up and I'm leaving. Ain't no, oh, you don't want her to think you insecure. You not insecure. Ain't nothing insecure about you about You trying me like that in my face. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing insecure about that. I've heard this advice given over and over and over again. Somebody said it that was real charismatic and other co coaches started, or quote unquote coaches or dating people started saying this shit too. And I heard this one of the first things I heard when I came into this space. I was like, this is the stupid shit, stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. She gonna think you, she gonna think you soft, or she gonna think you were, you know, insecure because you check her about violating you. Don't, don't never let no, don't let nobody violate you. But we, this the game, we talking about the game. You don't let women violate you like that. 
again, you don't have to cry or fucking punch a bitch in the mouth. But nah, we ain't doing that at all. Again, if it's petty, you check it. Hey, watch your tone. Don't, don't, don't talk to me like that. Hey, you got to respect the time. They come late. Hey, respect. Don't blow that off because it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. I'm doing the 10 levels of disrespect real soon. Women violate you. They, they just, okay, just keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Ultimately, if you don't leave her, check her, it's going to be, it's going to cost you your life. So don't listen to that stupid ass shit. Stand up for yourself. Women going to think you're a punk when you don't stand up for yourself. Not because, you know, um, you say something about them violating you. I wish a bitch would call me a punk because I stand up for myself. Okay, I'll be a punk. All right, go find you somebody real then. You, you, you obviously not attracted to punk, so we done here. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you sensitive. Okay, I'll be sensitive. I'll be that. Now, this is why you need game. What I'm about to say, this is why you need experience with women. There are going to be times when your girl, there are certain things that you should blow off or laugh at. Like trying to bait you into arguments or, you know, doing little bullshit. That's not necessarily violating your boundaries and shit like that. But if your girl is testing you and poking at your masculine, trying to poke at you or talk to you a certain type of way or whatever you calling a shit test, you check that, bro. The thing is, is if you stand up for yourself, right? If you're a type of guy that she loves and respects and she and you give her value, you stand up for yourself. And you, you know, you have the position of I'm not the one to be played with. She ain't going to play with you, bro. She'll check it. You won't really get played with like that. There are going to be times where you slip, you fall off your shit, you get a little soft. And a woman is going, you know, you're getting a little soft too consistently. So a woman may push at you so she can feel the aggression because she hasn't felt it in a while. You call that a test. And all you do is assert yourself again. You get it back. So that happens. But a woman, if you if if you doing your shit and your game on point and you on point, a woman ain't gonna play with you like that. She not gonna be violent, floating with other dudes in your face. That that's that's out, bro. Don't tolerate that. While everyone complains about the state of the dating market. There's a small group of men who have answered the call. They reject the idea of surrendering to feminism. Knowing everything they desire is out there waiting for them. So long as they decide to get it. Men today have been led astray with half-truths, poor advice, and false narratives. They sit silently in pain, thinking something's wrong with them. Yet, they're unaware. They don't know how much power they actually have. Because over here, guys of all ages are conquering women. They get real solutions to real problems because of real game sex submission intimacy servitude power it can all be yours